Hello everybody, welcome to our session here and this session and this year is what we call DSS Innovative Idea. So I saw it here, right now it's just put there, it's not strong. So I saw it here and I put the computer inside. See, now the computer is inside. I cut it here, put it inside. Nigeria has the highest number of out-of-school children in the world, 10.5 million, according to UNICEF. 53.5% of the population lives on less than $2 a day, which ranks the country as one of the poorest in the world per capita. The chances of a child from poor rural areas of Nigeria to significantly turn its life around are very slim. Nevertheless, Sunday Adelaja was a child who overcame these obstacles. What are the values that could make you a better person and make our world a better place? The thing I'm going to start to talk about today is the value and the concept that every one of us could become anything you want to become. You can become anything you want. So that's a value system. That's a mindset that was not known to me when I was growing up in my, in my African village. It's a mindset that is not known to a lot of people all over the world. It doesn't matter if you live in Europe, it doesn't matter if you live in America, it doesn't matter if you live in Nigeria, you don't even know that you can actually be the constructor and the architect of your life. That you can actually take your decision and through your hard work become anything that you want to become. But even if some people have that idea and you've been taught that before, Is it easy to be a successful pastor? How challenging is the pastoral ministry for you? These days, becoming a pastor in Africa has transitioned from being a calling to a challenging business assignment that demands manipulation, tricks, and cheating to survive and prevail on the pulpit. And you pastors don't have to compromise. You don't need to go to the native doctors. You don't need to go to witches. You don't need to go to, you don't need to manipulate things. You don't need to do the wrong things to be successful. I've been successful as a pastor. Our church and my ministry has been regarded as one of the top most successful ministries in the world without using witchcraft, without manipulating, without using ESP, without craze about doctrines, without preaching paganistic gospel. You could still be successful and still do the right thing and still make it. Can you pass the gun away?